Alright guys, welcome back to another game. This is the Los Angeles Kings and the Edmonton Oilers. This is the only game left here in Game 6. So, there is a chance for the Kings that want to tie the series up here on the Oilers. And they advance them to Game number 7. This was the very hardest matchup, and in between the runoff and in between the challenging of succeed, there's a lot of bunching missing opportunities here for the uh, Oilers that they have played. They only have three games won, and for the Kings, they only have one in game one. And then, game five, the last game, they are coming back in three and two. But the question is, can the Kings take a tie series and force them to game seven? Or will the Oilers move on to the second round and win the whole thing over the USA team and face out against Calgary Flames? Right now the Flames are already won in game number 5 over on St. Louis Blues. So there is a chance if the Oilers can definitely make it or not. So we're going to find out for the next part of this game happening here at Rogers Place. So let's get this thing started and send you over to Rogers Place in Edmonton, Canada, where Jay Savolsky and Greg Ferraro, and along with the EA Sports crew, stand by. Thank you for uh, watching the other games. If you already have liked them, make sure to give it a thumbs up button. And thank you all for also watching for my Six Flags video. It was very fun. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but um, a lot of fun happens sometimes. So let's get the game started and bring it on a run. Guys, it's all yours. Let's get the game finished of the first round. by number 13, Ben Barbie, and by number 27, Calvin Hurst. Time of the goal, 3.46 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Right. 
Brian James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. You can feel the energy. In Los the Angeles world. goal, his first goal of the playoffs, scored by number 11, Andre Kopitar. His first assist by number 19, Brian Kerman, and by number 47. Time to go. 6.46 seconds in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Los Angeles penalty, Dustin Brown, two minutes for interference. Edmonton penalty, Darnell Nurse, two minutes for tripping. The 
Kings will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First chance of the night for the power play. The guys Darnell Nurse, two minutes for for tripping here for MIT. Time for the power play under two minutes for the Kings LA, LA the power play. Edmonton penalty, Brian Malone, two minutes for tripping. Another chance here on the man advantage. Quick puck movement is the way to move these defenders around. If you move it slowly, we're just going to see... Edmonton penalty here, number two, you know, Brad Malone. You know, two minutes for tripping on Edmonton. Two minutes here for LA Kings foul play. Second goal in the playoffs, score by number 11, Anze Kopitar. Assisted by number 44, and Kopitar. Time of the goal, 17.40, 17.23 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs.
play. Smith's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed to cover there. Here in the later stages of this period, the Kings are looking to build on this one goal lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denies the shooter on that play. Puck scooped up by McDavid. Here's a short pass to Barry. Trying to engage a little physicality here. The Kings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Dowdy's going to play it against the half wall. Slides the puck over. Shot! That's a mistake. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Quicks out to, to hang on to the puck for a face off. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Edmonton's won the faceoff. Quick pass to Yamamoto. Try has got it near the point. Turns him away. Los Angeles moves ahead with the puck. Now a quick pass to Athanasiu. One minute remaining in the first period. And a quick little stick ripper comes up for the turnover. He was locked in there. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Takes a hit on the play. Sends it in on the attack. Los Angeles takes possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Puts it on goal. Oh, what a chance, and he puts it wide of the net. Good delivery, got rid of that in a hurry, but he ends up missing the net. Textbook stop by Quick. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Stick around later. Second period's coming up after this. Let's get to the second period and start now. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Los Angeles is quick on the draw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Taken by Anderson. Slides the puck ahead, tie a follow. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Quick feed to Kimpe. And there's another stop. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. We're still in the early stages of this period. LA's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Too much there. They're in the offensive zone. Just make a direct, simple, quick play. Probably better off than trying to do what he did there. He says, let's get physical on that play. Quick pass across to Arvidsson. Gains the zone through the middle. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Gains the zone. And he regains control of the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Angles it over to Athanasiu. That pass doesn't go. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. The Oilers have it from their own end. Takes the pass. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. The Kings have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Los Angeles plays it along the wing. Glove save made by Smith. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. The centers will glide into the dot. Swooping in on the attack. Drives it to the crease. The 
Kings have it now. Motion to walk. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. That's kicked away with the pad by Click. Moves the puck. penalty. Andre Cam, two minutes for roughing. Edmonton penalty, Cody Stacey, two minutes for roughing. It is now four on four. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four on four on the ice. That extra space on the ice is there for you to take advantage of. Beaches. Two minutes here for the four on four. And Hody here for the Edmonton Oilers. And Adrian Kemp for the LA Kings. Los Angeles has it near the wall. Moves it 
from the over Tabata. Here's a shot. That's turned away with the pad by Smith. Turn that one aside. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Malone. Sent into the offensive zone. Elliott's got a hold of it against the wall. Hangs onto the puck. Taken along the wall by Athanasiu. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Puts it on net. Misses a golden opportunity there. The Kings scoop it up along the boards. Handles it along the blue line. With the stop. Puck picked up by Bouchard. Feeds it across the ice to Benson. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Kings move the puck in the defensive zone. Pass across to Athanasiu. Cannon of a shot. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Quick feed to Athanasiu. Puck scooped up by Bouchard. Gains the zone on the left wing. Quick shot, and that was stopped. Here's a chance behind the net. Back to the blue line. Taken by Brown. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Sends it in deep. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Kings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Los Angeles is across the blue line. Look out! He scores! Jumps right in as a rebound and puts it in the back of the net. The Kings now extend their lead to two here in the late goings of the second rank. What a great place to be in, James. They've earned this position. Now they're up a couple of goals and they want to bring it LA goal, his first goal in the playoffs. Score by number 23, Let's Dustin go. Brown. His first sister by number 12, Andre Kimko. And by number 4, David Kroger. Tommy the goal, 7. <laughs> 17 minutes, 26 seconds in the first, second period of the, of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Oilers goal, his first goal in the playoffs, score by number 10, Dunstan Ryan. His first assist here by number 82, Nick Krohman. And by number 25, Dian Val Nurse. Time of the goal, 18-42 remaining. 18-42 remaining in a second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. One minute remaining in a second period. Oilers goal. Time and a goal. 1904 remaining in a second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs.
Third period, it's underway right now. A tie game in between LA and Edmonton. The next one could be big here. Can the Oilers take the win in game six and move on? Or will the Kings force their way into game seven back in LA? The decision it will be making when we come back. Let's finish it off for the third period. Goal, his first goal of the playoffs, scored by number 33, Darren Kane. His first assist by number 25, Darnell Nurse. And by number 56, Darren Yamamoto. Time of the goal, 6.42 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. First goal in the playoffs, scored by number 44, Andreas Anaconda. Time of the goal, 422 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. 
We are all tied up in this one. Edmonton's won the draw. Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. Grabbed along the board by Anderson. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Let's it go. Just wide. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Tries to the crease. Decides to think about it. Quick pass to Moore. Nail into the offensive zone from the right side. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Smith's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Both teams ready here for the faceoff. Deneau's won the draw. With the stop. Edmonton's got the puck. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Dumps it in. The Kings have it against the wall. Here they come up along the wing. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Offside, go on L.A. Still lots of time left. They need to find somewhere to get right through it in order to take one of them teams in the lead. Los Angeles has it in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Athanasiu. And skilled use of the stick to pump the puck away. Just wide in the net. Taken along the wall by Brown. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, off the crossbar. What a chance on the play. Nobody can get any clearance in this game. That puck hits the crossbar and stays outside of the goal. Scrum and Sue's along the boards. From behind the net now, he scoops up the puck. Quick feed to Pugliarvi. And now it's over to Hyman. From in close. Oh, how did that stay out? What a toe stop on the play. Byfield's feeling that and someone's going to the ball. Let's get the call here. Hyman's stick work. Edmonton penalty. Zach Hyman, two minutes for slashing. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Just because the power play hasn't had a success run here, you can't focus in on that. Edmonton penalty. Zach Hyman, two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, 10.45 remaining in the third period. Here will now be the two minutes power play for the LA Kings. From the right side, they gain the zone. Takes a shot, turns it aside with the glove. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Turcotte's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Denies him in close. Edmonton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Sends the cross ice pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Cuts to the front. Good look. Not a good result, though. And they can't cash in if they can't get it on the net. Really good play to set up the chance, but nothing for it. And the puck clears the zone. Tosses it on to Kempe. Turcotte's carrying it ahead. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Nugent Hopkins moves the puck. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Slides it quickly to Turcotte. They go on the attack through center. Hyman's ready to join the play. And they send it down the ice. The Kings' man advantage is over. Really good pressure by the penalty killers there to keep the... Well, he's calling it out now. They're going to go. James, you lay a hit like that on a star, there's going to be somebody that's going to come after you, and that's exactly what...
what's happened here. Well, I guess that's that. That's that, and it's pretty clear, James, who had the upper hand. Five minutes for fighting, Evander King for Edmund. Five minutes penalty for fighting, Alex E. Fellow for the Los Angeles. Upcoming face off here, this crowd still buzzing after what we saw just a few moments ago. Five minutes for fighting for Edmonton and Los Angeles Kings. Alex E. Fellow for fighting. And you fighting. Time of the penalty. 12.43 remaining in the third period. by 75, here's Ann Pochard. Time of the goal, 16.27 to go in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carla Bain. 
Kokotar is the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. And it's hooked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. LA is in now. The Oilers gain possession. Rocks him on the play. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's a shot. Stops him cold. Moves it to Byfield. And now he angles it across to Brown. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. LA goal, his second goal in the playoffs, scored by number 23, Dustin Brown. His first assist here by number 22, uh, Avonazu, and by number 42, in Proven Third. Time of the goal, 19-28 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. One minute left remaining in the third period. We have some winner next year. It will be in between the Kings and the Oilers. Will the Kings force Game 7? Or will the Oilers win and head on to the second round to face against the Canadian team of Calgary Flames? It will be happening next, right after this. Don't go anywhere. Don't leave the video. We got the regulation to, to overtime next. All right, guys, it's overtime in game six. This is a lot of hard matchup. The rivalry of teams in between USA and Canada of the West Coast and the, and the Eastern of the Central Coast here up on top of the North. So there could be one for the next game of the winner. So let's see what happens here. Oilers, Kings, on in overtime. Here we go. OT should tell us who wins and who loses, and they're ready to get it underway. Overtime has begun, Ray. I know you love these moments. Chance to win it, and it keeps it alive. What a stop. Quicks on top of the puck, and then will stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Ayapalo's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Arvidsson's got it on the offensive end. And he takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. To the low side. Makes the save. And that puck leaves the zone. Now a quick pass to Ayapalo. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Kings gain control of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And he regains control of the puck. Great defensive stick work on the play. Gains the zone through center. Dreisaitl's going to play it against the half wall. He scores! Oilers goal, his 
second goal in the playoff score by number 25, Darnell Durst. What a fantastic game. All the first rounds of the Stanley Cup playoffs are is complete. And your final score is 6-5. Oilers move on to face against Calgary Flames. Let's have your three-star players of the game. First up for number three, we have this Destin Brown. Two goals and two hits. It's 0-2-2, oh and two and two, but it did turn out to be just like that. Number two with that star. Speaking of this one for 2-2, two and two, we have a Zach Hyman, two goals and eight hits. He was a little too hard on that competitive, but all I'm looking for is watch out for that penalty. And a tape-to-tape -tape feed, what a way to bait for him. And Darnell Nurse, one goal, three assists, and three hits. A game-time overtime winner. Thanks to the feeding with the other teams, they've got a great numbers out there to show how they've done it before. So that ends it up here for today of the Stanley Cup playoffs of first round. So far, the secondary matchups are on the board. We have his Avalanche versus the Wilds. Flames against the Edmonton Oilers. Rangers versus the Hurricanes. And Florida up against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So I'd like to thank you all for joining for the first round. We will stick on our way for the second round as we will have some uh, couple of uh, each games coming up later in between those two. And we'll see how well they do if they can try to keep their way on to the next level. So thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you all again next time for the second round of the conference semifinals in the Eastern and Western Conference. So thank you for watching. Until next time. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL 22 of the Stanley Cup Playoffs first round quarterfinals dial. Thank you and have a good night. Get home safe everyone.